everyone, and welcome to the Raw Vegan Guru channel, where we are raising our health consciousness, one thought at a time, one meal at a time, one step for mankind. Because if we deal with our own personal health and we evolve and we elevate ourselves to a higher level of balance and overall body function, that's going to relay into our minds. That's going to relay into our energy fields. And if we're going to be altering in the positive and allowing our systems to basically generate into their true positioning in the cosmos, then we will all have a heightened state of awareness. And in a heightened state of awareness, we will not be going to war. We will not be judging others. And we will not be putting plastic into our body um, labeled as Fruit Loops. So it is truly an overall consciousness that begins with health. I think that's a really interesting, important little, well, actually not even little, little in my words to uh, relay right now, but actually enormous because when it comes to shifting the energy on this planet and it comes to overall awareness to live in more harmony and in the true love space, that's all going to begin with your mental health and your physical health and the overall chemistry uh, within our bodies. So an alkaline diet is going to propel you and elevate you toward that higher level of existence. So that's why I'm so passionate about the raw vegan whole food, alkaline based lifestyle, because I have learned through action. Um, I didn't know this going in, uh, but I started to want to get rid of disease, which I did. And little did I know that it would also raise my consciousness and that it would bring me into a realm of spirituality and inner accomplishments that I would have never been able to achieve if I didn't start to lessen the load on my system and chip away at all of the clogging aspects of my mind and my heart. Because I'll tell you, Velveeta cheese, that stuff, uh, you know, blocked my heart for years. I'm sure my heart was blocked and I ate Velveeta cheese, so you tell me. But this is not what our video is about today. Today I'm going to be talking about seeds and nuts. Why? Because you got to respect the seeds and nuts. Have you ever eaten too many seeds or nuts? Um, if you have, it's a memory because I'll tell you I have. And it uh, seeps out of your pores, um, the oils and those fats are just unforgiving. So it is very, very important that we respect the seeds and the nuts. I think I just felt that reverberation in the air. So seeds and nuts, why? Because they are an important part of the balance of a whole food plant-based diet uh, in the raw realm or in the vegan realm. Uh, let's start with the basics. 
when you purchase your seeds or nuts, you want them to uh, be organic and you want them to be raw because if they're not raw, then they've been processed in some manner and they become even less viable for nutrition. And they are um, also toxic at levels because roasting nuts and uh, adding that higher heat element to them um, is actually very damaging um, to your digestive tract. You are not going to uh, absorb really anything. You might get the fiber out of it. Um, but those uh, fats and oils are rancid um, at that high heat level. It's just a no-go. So don't use the roasted seeds or nuts, which is about 98% of all seeds and nuts that you see prepackaged in the store. So you got to really seek out the raw. Um, sometimes you'll see like raw hold uh, seeds and nuts. So that's where we're going to begin. Then, secondly, when you open that package of your raw seed and nuts, uh, there are some exceptions like hemp seeds, but you're going to want to break open the natural barrier of the exterior coating that is anti-nutrient in the seed and nut because of its design and nature. Um, it is made to basically drop from the plant in order to reproduce and grow new, uh, you know, formations of that particular species. And you have the animals that are going to be ingesting these seeds and nuts, and they're going to be protected with this exterior shell so that when they're bypassed through the digestive tract and then they're dropped wherever they may land in nature, uh, they'll be able to viably grow into uh, generating the species itself, like a sunflower seed or something. So you want to break away those exterior barriers by soaking your seeds and nuts. So if you were to eat your seeds and nuts straight out of the package, that is going to be very difficult to digest. Uh, I think that I wouldn't have to tell you that as much as if you do it, you'll notice discomfort in, um, in your stomach and also in your bowel movements. Um, it can be a little constricted and tight and just uncomfortable in its passing as well. Even though um, there is fibrous action going on with the seed and nut, um, it is not being fully utilized or absorbed or processed um, in its raw form. Uh, can you do it? Yeah. I'm just talking about the benefits and um, what you're going to get out of it and what is uh, most conducive to your body's processing, uh, you know, system. So you want to soak your seeds. You want to soak your nuts. So how long? Well, usually a rule of thumb is uh, overnight, you know, throw those uh, pumpkin seeds in a jar with fresh water. You do not want to use tap water um, if you're unaware of what's going on in there, because that is another infiltration by, uh, you know, I don't want to get into conspiracies, but by the powers to be, by the corporations, by the profit uh, mongers, because you have so many chemicals um, in our tap waters. Of course, we know about fluoride and uh, encrusting and blocking the pineal gland uh, so that we uh, can't have the ability and consciousness to see the truth of uh, the illusion which they are trying to portray to us uh, with this society um, and with all of these hogwash ideas and material goods that they cram down our throats as normal. So yeah, you know, fluoride, that's not cool. Um, there's other uh, chemicals of the fuss. What is that? Uh, from the uh, Roundup, the, uh, what is that? Physolites or, I'm slipping on the uh, 
the word right now. But anyway, there's a lot of chemicals uh, from the uh, runoff uh, that gets into the water table from uh, massive agriculture and other uh, huge chemical pharma um, elements. So you want to use your fresh spring water and soak your nuts uh, overnight. You can soak them for uh, maybe, you know, two days. That's really going to make them nice and soft and um, sprout it out. But good rule of thumb is just overnight. So after you, oh, there's a turkey. By the way, side note, I've been in these woods for quite some time now. And um, when I first was here in the beginning of this uh, pandemic situation of 2020, um, I was really only just seeing a few birds around, a couple of uh, red squirrels chasing each other, and I was very happy. I'm always so grateful when I see that. And then um, over the past uh, couple of weeks, I have seen um, larger birds, which I think is magnificent. So that's cool. Um, and I've been seeing a lot of turkeys going on. And I'm like, hey, guys you know, do your thing because I would never harm you. I think you're, you know, the truth, very, very intelligent and amazing and magnificent creatures. So walk the land and enjoy it. There aren't hunters out here and there aren't people with uh, their hogwash ideas of thinking, um, you know, something living is a food source uh, for now because everybody's in their home. So I'm glad they get this little break from uh, humanity too, and they can just uh, be who they are because they're they're turkeys. So now, after you soak your seeds and nuts, you're going to want to just strain out that water um, and then rinse them so that you really get that uh, outer surface of uh, the anti nutrient and uh, basically the absorption blockages out of um, the seed and nut mix. Uh, and then from there, the game is on. You can eat them as a snack. Um, there's a lot of raw recipes where you can grind them, um, you know, mash them, strain them, and you can make uh, desserts and you can make uh, nut cheeses um, and also the nut milks or the seed milks. So you can make your own at home raw uh, nutrient available uh, nut and seed milks. So maybe, maybe we'll do that at another time. Uh, there are a bunch of videos out there by uh, other YouTubers who do explain that process with little variations, but it's kind of uh, simple and straightforward with soaking your nuts and seeds, straining them, and then blending them with water. So you can do a lot of things with these seeds and the nuts, but really what you're doing is you're opening up the bioavailability of the nutrients. Um, the minerals we're going to be going on anyway, but you're going to be able to expose uh, more of those nutrients and the absorbable and usable fiber in them. And you're going to get way more benefit and you're going to have much, 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 much less taxation on the system. So you're really going to be able to utilize that food source. So that's what it's all about. We can eat things all day long, but if you want to really get into the game of how is it going to benefit you or how are you going to be able to protect yourself forward and grow and raise your health, then we're going to get into how to do that. And each uh, food can have a specific uh, angle or just uh, intelligence within itself that we're going to connect with in order to benefit fully. So seeds and nuts, soaking is the game. And uh, then we're going to come into, as I always say in food, and it might sound funny because... Uh, it's not medicine like at a pharmacy, but medicine at a pharmacy isn't medicine. So food is medicine. So what I say is dosage. So it's kind of like, here's my prescription. Uh, one apple a day is real. 
So if you're um, going to go back to uh, some of those old school expressions that you grew up hearing, they're true. Uh, can't say every one, but we're going to talk about that apple a day. Yes, an apple a day. Uh, is that my prescription to you? Actually, yes. If I had a prescription pad right now, I would write one apple. That's what I'd write on it. Now, that's what a prescription pad should be made for, by the way. Um, I shouldn't be seeing chemicals on there or things that are going to deteriorate and destroy my organs and cause acidosis, uh, disease, and oh, what do you call it? Death. Yeah, no, I'm going to say uh, eat an apple a day. And then when you do that, I'm going to write another prescription that says, like, eat three oranges a day. Yeah, so basically um, everything in nature is in a uh, particular placement of a balance and harmony, uh, how it settles into its local environment, its ecosystem, and what is utilized and what is bypassed. So if you just get out into nature and you watch, um, you know, how a leaf uh, turns and tosses in the wind and where it lands and maybe how it starts to break down and that soil is something that an ant starts to use to build its mound. So everything is just so interconnected and in its um, proper uh, use in the end in nature, if you let it be. Well, it's the same with uh, our foods and our body. Everything is in a perfect uh, you know, position if we acknowledge and recognize that through our actions. So is it cool to eat, you know, 10 apples? Now I'm going to tell you firsthand experience. No, it's not. Um, that's going to give you some major, uh, super duper, uh, fiber fulfillment, I guess, uh, if that's the way to put it. And, um, that's going to give you cramps and it's going to, you know, do things, uh, you know, maybe some, uh, bloatation here in the stomach. And it's not going to make you feel so good because it's just overdoing it. So that's why the one apple, maybe two, let's get crazy, is like a dose, you know. So that's uh, my pharmaceutical kind of approach to, uh, you know, food eating is doses. You know, what, what's it going to be? So bananas, you know, it's like I'm not going to have more than two a day because uh, there's just no need. I'm going to absorb everything I need to uh, primarily from that first uh banana and then um the second and you know we're going to top it off there so then let's get back to our seed and our nuts on dosage so seeds you can um use a little bit more oh, it looks like a muddy uh muddy scene i'm gonna turn around um seeds you can definitely use um, more in your dosage, but all seeds and nuts are going to be very small in uh, what you will need, what you can process and um, get the most bioavailable nutrients out of. So huge respect the seeds and respect the nuts. Um, I have wanted to start a company um for a long time now and the sole purpose of this uh company would be to sell only raw uh unprocessed organic uh straight up seeds and nuts but my primary focus would be respect the seeds and nuts because if you don't they will come up on you with a vengeance I have poisoned myself with nuts, more than seeds. Seeds are a little bit more forgiving, but with nuts. And it was memorable. So that's what began my awareness into respecting the nuts, respecting the seeds. And I went out and went after and seeked a purpose behind how I could not suffer any longer by the seed in the nut, and I figured it out. And it's really about not only the soaking, but the dosage. So what is a proper dosage of seeds and nuts? For nuts, in your hand here, it's going to be a little palm sitting, is what I say. So that's going to be 
just a little pile in your palm. It's not going to be a handful. It's going to just sit level and flat right there in the palm. So it's kind of like if you had Brazil nuts, that might be five or six Brazil nuts. If you had almonds, that might be eight or nine almonds. You just want that little light dose right there in your hand, and that is all you need, believe me. So whether you're going to eat that as a mono meal or, uh, you know, in a snack or on top of your salad, you really want to watch that dosage on the nuts and the seeds. But I truly emphasize the nuts because they are a lot more dense and they are a lot heavier in their breakdown and their uh, digestive absorption. So you don't want to work your system out too much just to contend with uh, an overload of these uh, nuts and seeds. Now to seeds, that is more. A seed dosage, and that can vary um, because hemp seeds are quite forgiving. You could have a few, um, there's really no need, but I'm just saying you could have a few handfuls of hemp seeds. And that is not going to uh, bring you down as much as if you had a couple of handfuls of sunflower seeds, let's say. So you got to kind of tweak to each seed and each nut uh, with what is going to be utilized more on its amount that you're going to consume. Uh, on the nuts, I can safely say all of them uh, have a level of density that you just want to use a small amount. On the seeds, that's going to play around a little. Um, hemp seeds, you can have a couple of handfuls of uh, dosage. Pumpkin seeds, uh, you can do about a third of a cup dosage in a day. Now again, remember we're talking about um, sprouted and soaked seeds and nuts. Hemp seeds are an exception. You don't have to uh, sprout or soak those um, necessarily. Uh, I have to say they're pretty um, forgiving just as they are. But you know, the hemp plant. It's like uh, the emperor, you know, wears no clothes. It is um, high level, high level. That plant um, provides so, so many answers uh, to humanity and this uh, planet as a whole that I guess it's an exception with a lot of things, just like CBD oil is uh, golden. Then you have... Sesame seeds. Now, sesame seeds are, uh, again, a little more forgiving and uh, digestible, and you can uh, soak your uh, seeds overnight, but you can also um, grind that into a paste, also known as like a tahini paste, and you can uh, utilize it that way, and that's going to be uh, highly effective in absorbing uh, the nutrient level and not overtaxing yourself. So what's the dose on that? That's going to be about... Oh. <laughs> hey guys. How we doing? About a uh, large handful on the sesame seed. Um, and then we have chia seeds. Chia seeds um, are an amazing... Um, very absorbable, again, seed. And those do really well when they're soaked into um, a liquid um, source in order to, again, um, bypass and break that exterior uh, anti-nutrient um, natural barrier. So I will use chia seeds in my smoothies uh, nearly every time. And then the dose on that is about... Um, you do not want to do too much chia seeds. They can cause um, a lot of gas and indigestion and just disruption in the digestive process where you're like, whoa, you know, I don't feel so well there. Um, that's because it could have been too much uh, chia seeds. So respect the chia seeds. Um, I usually use about 
two tablespoons or so in a, you know, maybe 24 ounce um, liquid concoction, a smoothie. Haven't really added it to green juice. Could it work? Yeah, I, I guess so. Um, but you want that to sit in a wa the liquid for a little while. So when I make my smoothies with chia seeds, I'll uh, shake that up. I'll put that in a jar and I'll put it in the fridge uh, for a little while, you know, maybe an hour or something. Um, you could shorten that, you know, to 47 minutes. <laughs> Um, and you're going to start to get like this gel formation around the uh, chia seeds. That's going to help to be able to bypass um, any uh, blockages internally for uh, a defense system in what usually these seeds and nuts have on their exterior coating. So it's going to allow it to start to be uh, processed and uh, moved around and digested. So that's my tip on chia seeds. And... Um, a lot of these seeds, too, when we're talking about seed intake, especially in the raw food diet, because you want to talk about, well, where are you getting your carbs, where are you getting your oils, where are you getting your fats, and then there's a lot of um, people's approaches, we'll say, not so much opinions, because a lot of people out there are looking into uh, the research and are looking into people's experiences and what outcomes have occurred, but we need to have a balance of an overall whole food diet where we're not being one thing like we are only going to eat um you know uh kale or we're only going to eat um you know soy or we're only going to eat um oranges now these things are very beneficial and believe me i'll eat oranges all day so i'm not putting that down but what i'm saying is we need to have a wholesome, balanced approach to our diet so that we can fulfill all of our body's functional needs and be at that optimal health. So we don't want to be extreme because of our mental limit or our philosophical belief system. We really want to look at the science of and the chemistry of the human body and we need our fats and we need our carbs and we need um, all of these building blocks, our amino acids to make protein, etc. So with that being said, seeds and nuts have a lot of um, varying in each one. Uh, your omegas, you have your omegas, three and sixes, you have your magnes, your magnesium, you have your potassium, um, you have your zinc, all of these different elements which contribute to our overall health and harmony. So that is something that brings me into this whole discussion is because I don't eat seeds and nuts all the time. I have great reverence and respect for them, but I do incorporate them into my diet like medicine because it is very important to get those omegas and to get those aminos and to get those different minerals and nutrients that I'm not seeing in other places, especially the fats. Um, I am incorporating my fats in a titrated uh, dose and I am always absorbing my fats and benefiting from them. Um, and a lot of our lubrication in our system and our brain capacity is working with fats. It's, it's working with those healthy fats, I should say. Um, so lastly, I think on the seeds I'm going to discuss are flax seeds. Flax seeds, oh mighty. They are so beneficial and super duper. I do probably incorporate flax seeds more than I incorporate any other seed and nut. And how I do that is by grinding my flax seed. If you have ever seen or felt or utilized the flax seeds, they're like these little, um, they kind of, to me, uh, look like um, a little hard shelled ticks, you know? Uh, they've got that real hard exterior and good for them. You know, they're strong in nature. They're doing their thing. But you really are not going to utilize much of anything. Um, I'd like to see the numbers on that, what percentage you're going to get something uh, if you eat that whole flaxseed because that exterior barrier, again, that anti-nutrient and that defense system um, from the plant's uh, natural um, superior selective process to survive and move forward is not going to help you, the human, 
in benefiting from what's going on inside. So you need to buy ground flaxseed or you need to buy the whole flaxseed. I find that to be uh, economically viable and then grind it in your coffee grinder uh, or you could use a hand uh, grinder, a stone, um, you know, masher and just get that down into a, a finer powder so that you can absorb the amazing omegas that are coming out of there. It's funny when um, you hear in the so-called, as I say, mainstream health movement, which is way off base, uh, when they say you should have your krill and you should have your uh, fish oil for your omegas, I chuckle inside every time because a super duper answer to that is uh, simply, simply flax. So the flax seeds are really um, an amazing thing to have in your uh, cupboard, to have in your kitchen arsenal of medicine. Uh, that and the hemp seed are my two top favorite players, um, just because of the incredible nutrient dense uh, potential that they give our bodies and also um, the fact that they are so much more forgiving and um, processed uh, in our systems um, gracefully. So I hope that this overview of seeds and nuts um, helped you to have a better understanding as to how Woohoo! How to approach seeds and nuts. I think that's the biggest thing. Now, this is coming out of experience and then working with people um, and also doing um, extensive research. So I wish that I had this information when I began because I had a lot of um, constipation, uh, indigestion. I've even had heartburn from the rancid oils in these seeds and nuts because uh, they were stale. Um, oh, because uh, I didn't know to have them uh, be raw, so then they were um, roasted. So I have gone through the gamut uh, in order to stand here today and help. Um, it's a duck. To help guide you guys um, toward a easier approach and way to uh, enjoy and benefit from seeds and nuts. So I hope that you guys like this video today. Please subscribe with me on this channel so that you can always keep um, up to date with our health conscious community. I release uh, videos uh, sometimes daily, but definitely I'm going to say weekly. And um, that's just because of uh, the schedule of life. But I am always thinking of how I can help people raise their health consciousness, how I can help people transition into a vegan lifestyle that will not only benefit them, the people around them, because they're going to be grooving and happy all the time, and the planet, because we're going to be more in a check and balance system with what the planet needs and what we need. So we're not going to be overextending uh, our demands on the planet or on our body for what uh, we can uh, benefit and process from in the nutrient, mineral, fibrous levels of internal existence. So it means a lot to me that you guys uh, join me here on the Raw Vegan Guru channel. And I love when I see uh, new subscribers because I enjoy writing and communicating with every single person I can in order to say, we are all here as one. Nobody is outside of the box. This box known as planet Earth is our home. And it is our family. And we are all intertwined, whether or not we have not come to grips with that within our mind and hearts yet. So, I love you. 
Thank you very much. Have a, a beautiful healing day. Get outside into nature the best you can and breathe in that fresh prana. Get that sun and fight off the fears and the limitations of what is being said to us on the mainstream media. Sun kills viruses. Fruit creates happiness. So there you are. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to subscribe to my channel and leave comments below. Let me know what you think of this video or any of my videos. Let me know if you would like me to discuss certain subject matters and tackle issues that you are facing in your health today. Thank you. Bye.